what we're going to do in this video is learn about gender pay gap. So is gender pay gap means that women are actually paid less than men in the same occupation? No, it's not. Gender pay gap may not be about women being paid unequally for the same job. Men for women as well. But, yes, could be for the men, but it does mean that women do have a wage discrimination. You could say due to the personal circumstances or due to the prejudice that's carried on. I'm going to try and explain that in this video. Based certain judices and career breaks, etc. So let's try and understand what's happening. I've put down over here male dominated industries and I've put down industries that have high supply of women workers. Now when I say male dominated industries, I've put down over here Bob the Builder. Now why is Bob the Builder? Why don't we have over there uh, Nancy the Builder, you know? The reason being, the construction industry needs more physical toughness for labor productivity and there might be a bias against women being employed within the construction industry. And something very similar which was seen in sports as well so what we are saying over here is the supply of workers that's a sl and demand for workers let me put this down as dl if i've got dl somewhere because it's suffered by prejudices and it's a male dominated industry what will happen to the supply curve shift because if the women's uh, women are not being, uh, you know, they're not, they enter that market, but then they're not employed. Obviously, they'll go out of this market, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so it will shift to the right or to the left? Left. To the left. Before we shift it, let me put down the um, workers employed at L1. Because women are being forced out of this market because of the prejudice that exists, this supply curve, as we've agreed, will shift to the left from SL1 to... SL2 and we can see that the wages have risen from W1 to W2 because the women's have been forced out of that market due to the prejudice as we were talking about in the construction market and being physically strong to be as productive as male workers and even Novak Djokovic was caught out when he spoke about, you know, his comments and he had to apologize for this. So, yes, um, L1 shifts to left, L2, and we can see the rise. Now, what will that do is then certain industries will see an influx of women more. And let's say there is the demand for labor, DL1 in this industry and before the influx the market equilibrium wage was let's say level one wage one now because the women have exited from this market and they've gone into the other markets where we've put an industry that are perceived to have high supply of women workers let's say for example midwives and though there is an acute shortage of midwives in uk at the moment but we can still say they are underpaid and they'll probably love me for saying this over here as compared to doctors. But yes, the supply of labor has increased because the women workers has entered into this market, let's say administrative work as well. And what has happened to the wages? Let me just put down the blue. So the supply sh curve shifts to the right to SL2 and we can see decrease in wages. Decrease in wages. L1 moves from L1 to L2 and the wages have fallen down from W1 to W2. Let me just take this off so it looks clean and we've got the men winner with the higher wages. Women will move into industries that are more personal And due to high supply, the 
the wage is also pressed the same and figure two let me label this as figure two We are suppressed as seen in figure two to lower W2. In male dominated industries, as women have left the market, wages have gone up to higher. W2 and figure one due to shortage of supply of workers. So this is one way of explaining why women are paid less in right? Yeah. Okay. The other thing is I've put down a picture of a pregnant woman. And pregnant women means they take career breaks and then when they come back they actually come back as part timers. Right, mm. so they're not productive. Mm, would you want to say that? Not they, as productive? They wouldn't be as productive because they're having part time instead of full time. Yes, in absolute labor, uh, in the time they work, they might be highly productive. But then, in the overall way, yes, it does generate a lot of cost on the firm mm. in terms of recruiting new workers, training them, filling up those short terms, uh, and then also to pro provide a flexible uh, work regime mm. can be expensive to monitor, isn't and it? Hard to administer, yeah, and, and quite difficult to do. Absolutely. So let's put this down. Women have to take career breaks to raise families. And this can lead to missing out incremental pay rises. Coming back to the job part time, that will mean recruitment and Recruitment forward slash training and administrative costs on the firms making them reluctant to hire 